In order to evaluate a film collection, you're going to have to find a, a viewer. A uh, viewer is much better than a projector because it's less likely to damage shrunken film. Uh, but you must be careful, and the first thing I would recommend that you do is to clean the viewer. And you see I've gotten out a bunch of Q-tips here, and out of those Q-tips I'm going to spray a little Lemon Pledge uh, furniture polish. Now Lemon Pledge is hard to find nowadays, but if you can find it in a pump spray bottle or an aerosol container and you work in a library and are likely to handle films, buy a couple of them. It'll last you a lifetime. It does not damage film and we use it everywhere that the uh, film is likely to touch. All the surfaces, including uh, the rewinds. Now, if you're new at looking for viewers, you're likely to find one that has a burnt out bulb. And changing the bulb uh, is not too difficult in this generic type of arrangement for 8mm and super 8mm viewers. The bulbs for 16mm viewers and some of the 8mm uh, viewers like the Craig are quite different. But this one uh, can be done uh, relatively easily. I'll explain. The first thing you're going to do is to remove the cover on the old bulb. And you just do that by pulling it straight off. Above the bulb to the right is a small screw, uh, a Phillips screwdriver inserted will release the bulb. You only have to turn it about a half turn. Pull the old bulb out and you'll probably find out that it is a 6 volt 10 watt bulb. Replacement bulbs are available. This one happens to be an OSRAM. To insert the new bulb, align one of the uh, pins on the bulb with a slot and push it in. Push it all the way in and put the screw driver back in the clamp and turn it. That's the first step. Second step is to turn on the bulb. The next step is to turn the sprocket wheel on the viewer until you get as bright a picture as possible, as bright a light on the screen as possible. Uh, and you won't get very much at first because the bulb will not be in its proper lateral plane. So the next thing to do is to take your screwdriver and something to uh, adjust to push against the end of the bulb. And in this case I've used a wine cork uh, and turn the screw, loosen it and adjust it until you get the brightest picture possible then tighten the screw. That's it. Now we can put the cover back on Now with our viewer all set up and clean <clears throat> with the light adjusted uh, we're ready to uh, look at a film I'll put a Super 8 take-up reel on. I said Super 8, remember? The uh, uh, center hole is much larger than the 8mm hole. And this film might be Super 8. It's on a Super 8 reel. See the large hub hole in the center. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, uh, sprockets. Yes, indeed, uh, these are Super 8 sprocket holes. So we can safely go ahead and run this film as though it were Super 8. One thing more to check on these viewers uh, is the gate. Is it 
in the super 8 position or the regular 8 position. This one happened to be in the regular 8 position and that wouldn't uh, give us a very good picture. So with a quarter in the slot I'll rotate the gate and now we have it in the super 8 position. Did I remember to clean the super 8 part of the gate? I don't know. I'll turn the light off and uh, do that. Well, I better put the light back on so you can see. As I reach under the sprocket wheel and clean the sides of the uh, Super 8 gate very carefully. Okay.